I guess what I'm trying to say is. Okay, sorry. This is. Hello. Oh my gosh! It's happening nationwide. A second high school has now closed. Should schools reopen first? You can't have one basic answer across the country because we have so much variability. It cannot be done unsafely, or we'll be right back where we started. I just feel like that's the risk some of us seniors are willing to take to have our senior year. My name is Charlie. I'm going into my senior year and I'm from Los Angeles, California. My name is Nyla. I live in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and I'm going to be in Hi, my name is Laura Rose. I'm from the greater Boston area, Massachusetts, and I'm going to be a sophomore. I'm Sophie. I live in Omaha, Nebraska, and I'm going to be a sophomore in high school. My name's Jacob. I live in Farmington Hills, Michigan, and I'm going into my junior year of high school. Hi, I'm Vanessa. I am 17 years old and I live in Florida. Hey, I'm Hannah. I'm going into my senior year and I'm in Spokane, Washington. TikTok is life. Three, two, one. I used to spend so much time on TikTok, but it got to a point where it became a problem. I sometimes spent four hours on TikTok just like scrolling. For me, it's like clearly a problem, but I say like roll with it. Like the enjoyment that I get out of TikTok is like so immense. Like I don't know what I do with my six extra hours. I never even like got TikTok or had TikTok. I just don't really get it. Honestly, it really depends on like what content you watch. Once you get past the skinny hot girls dancing, like commentary TikTok. I mean, those TikToks end up everywhere and those references slip in. It's, it's definitely not something that you can ignore because it's so fair. I want my school to go back to in-person learning. Three, two, one. I live in Florida and it's one of the worst days when it comes to coronavirus and everyone is doing whatever they want. You're not ready right now to go back to school. I'm a senior this year and I just, I love school. So I really, really want to go back, but I definitely don't want to go back at the risk of like spreading COVID. I'm actually like really happy with my school's plans because we have like four options so that if you don't feel comfortable going back to school, you have the option to not go back to school. I really do would want to go back to school, but at the same time, I have to commute to school. Yeah, I agree with you, Charlie. I want to go back, but I have to take three buses, public transportation. I'm not for that right now. The hybrid schedule, half will go in Monday, Tuesday. The other half will go in Wednesday, Thursday. Everyone's home Friday. For me, the plan is unacceptable because what about the kids who aren't going in? Like, what do we do? I feel like right now, online school isn't being part of the solution. It's almost just like a punishment for like the government not taking enough steps. I live in Nebraska and we were like the last city out of the biggest like 100 cities to like get a mask mandate. They said we were going to go back and then like a week before school started, they like completely changed their mind, which in my opinion was like a good thing to do because like our numbers are just like keep going up. The schools are acting like they know what's happening, but like deep down, like it's like clear that they have no clue either. Yeah, I totally agree. Because the teachers union is so strong where I'm from, the teachers wanting to stay home is overpowering the students' needs. They gave us the first month off to prepare, but then that only resulted in them throwing us busy work for the rest of the two months. You need to adapt to the medium and serve your students. I don't care where that happens. Uh, I mean, I do agree with that, but at the same time, the teachers are also under an enormous amount of stress. I definitely want to go back, but having seen firsthand, how China dealt with it. It's like coming back to uh, the US, infection rate is incredibly high, how we haven't tested a fifth of the people. To me, it's too scary to even comprehend if every single kid went back to school. I have missed out on major life milestones because of the pandemic. Three, two, one. The summer after your junior year, before your senior year, is the one that's most important that colleges are gonna look at. I've tried so hard to like get a job or volunteer. I can't. And it's so frustrating because I do track and gymnastics and I'm like captains on both those teams. Super, super excited to be to be a captain. Just like really turned everything upside down. It kind of sucks. I moved from my country about 
three years ago, I was a lot of stuff behind everyone else. I literally learned about college application last year. This year, I was gonna do all those things that people started doing freshman year. But because of the pandemic, it was, everything got canceled. And I was very sad. I, I felt like I was even more step behind everyone else. I'm just curious to, uh, where you're from. Oh, I'm from Venezuela. Wow. Oh, how is that? Well, for me, when I was living there, the lie would just not work, not water or not good internet connection. And they are doing um, online school, so it's a mess. But I'm glad I'm here. First of all, you're so brave for like leaving your country. I'm a first generation and my family had to go through something similar. Props to you. You're the best. So the main thing I missed out on was the musical, which was crushing because I've been wanting to be in it since first grade. Once I actually thought about it, I was actually kind of miserable at school. Um, I was always the black sheep of my grade. So to, to not get like weird stares is like, oh my God, I'm actually a person who matters. It's actually been quite good for my mental health, which I wasn't expecting. I have experienced mental health issues due to the pandemic. Three two, one. This pandemic was extremely damaging to my mental health on so many different levels when Black Lives Matter movement was like hitting headlines again um, because of the death of George Floyd. It was very uncomfortable for me because I had people like DMing me personally, like questions oh gosh it makes me cringe what can i do how can i be a better person i don't understand what's going on and i was like i understand that because you know some people just don't truly know what's going on in the world but being like the little girl i am like i didn't know how to explain to people why my life matters and then not to mention with my school i was asked like how do we help make our students of color more comfortable i was just like shouldn't i already be comfortable like i feel like it should be a space for everyone you shouldn't have to like accommodate to me and in that moment, like, I realized that some people who claimed to be my friends weren't. They saw um, the Black Lives Matter movement more as like a trend. So I was like kind of telling everyone, please just give me some space. I'm really overwhelmed. I don't know how to process this. Like as teenagers, like I feel like we shouldn't have to have like a care in the world, but it almost feels as if so much stuff is being like shoved at us that it's like, we don't know how to deal with this and it feels like we have to deal with this like way sooner than we should like have to deal with this. My country is basically a bubble. You don't realize you are in that bubble until you get out of that. They are worried for other things that thankfully we don't have to worry about. Like if you're safe or if you're going to eat something tomorrow. So when I came here, I realized teenagers have more time and more rights and platforms to voice what they want to say and a lot of people are watching them and listen to them while in my country you just cannot do that and that's why i feel like this quarantine is maybe taking us out of that and sort of opening our eyes like 2020 2020 vision like that's what i think of we're sort of realizing that we aren't gonna like stick through with this system and we really need to be like living our lives at some point. I think the US is handling the pandemic properly. Three, two, one. Hell no. I'm sorry. Strongly disagree. Yeah. No, not at all. The government failed their class. You should be kicked out of the classroom. Like, we need a refresher here. Our state is practically just a cornfield. People think that like, the world doesn't like reach us exactly a week ago got a mask mandate like finally in my city it's not being enforced like at all like our own like governor is against it now more than ever like change needs to happen and that change can happen november 3rd everybody go out and vote yeah they basically did everything that they could wrong first off they let the politicians decide what uh motion should we pass and what shouldn't be and then they let it go down to the local and state levels. And so you can't make a uniform decision. And thirdly, it's the people themselves who are like, you know what, my right is I don't have to wear a mask, so I'm not going to wear it. And then for people in China, my friends were like, what in the world are they thinking? Are they out of their minds? And for them, it's like, this is, this is the pinnacle of Americans. Like from the outside world, this is America at its best AKA it's worse. I noticed that we're holding Australia and New Zealand on such a pedestal. 
However, I get a little fishy because they have crazy curfews and they're installing cameras to track their citizens. Like it's extremely important to protect people, but like the people who question things, they do have a point. Like how much of our personal freedom are we gonna sacrifice for this virus? What rights am I willing to have stripped away? Throughout history, when rights are taken away, they don't typically come back. I mean, uh, I don't, you can practice social distancing 110% correct and have all of your rights. You can still talk on social media, right? Like no, nobody's, like large gatherings. Well, dude, it's a pandemic. I mean, you're sort of like, that's it exactly what you're not supposed to do. I think there's levels to it though. I think it's very fair that like there are certain levels and degrees into which it's like, oh, well, that's like a little aggressive. One of the reasons why America has struggled so much with mandates and everything is that people believe so strongly in the idea of personal freedom. They don't understand that in order to have personal freedom and in order to live in a society, you have to give up other freedoms. The pandemic has affected my future plans. Three, two, one. Before, when I was younger, I was like, I'm gonna go to USC film school and I'm gonna become a film director. And I was just like, that's my goal. But I don't really know how, what's gonna happen after high school, but I'm also have faith that whatever happens I'll be happy with and then I just found out recently that like USC is handing out free tuition and I actually may have an opportunity if I get in to pursue that. I have no clue what I want to do with my life which is so hard for me because growing up like I wanted to be a singer I wanted to be an actress and I wanted to be a criminal justice defense attorney. I have no clue where I want to go but I do believe in manis manis manifest manifestation. Yeah. Manifesting. I believe in manifestation. So if I know that I'm going to end up good, I know I'm going to end up good. Like, I'm going to be great. It's just that I don't know what I'm going to be great in yet. And I'm okay with it. I'm okay with Go that. Go off. <laughs> Snaps for that. Very well said. Very well said. That is it for our conversation. Thank you guys so much. It was so nice talking to you all. Yes, yes it's, it's so much fun. Nice. Awesome. Should we all chat like our Instagram handles? Yes, that would be yeah. good. Um, mine is so long. You can change it, you know? <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs>